Today we're going to learn how to play an Irish barn dance on the guitar. This one's called James Gannon's Barn Dance, also known as the Merry Priest. For the last three weeks I've been on tour with Socks in the Frying Pan and I was lucky to have Michal Muckian on the accordion with us and I got him in to, to play this tune and we're going to have a listen to it now at top speed and then we're going to slow things down. I'll bring up the chord charts on the side, we'll take things nice and slow and then I have a bonus at the end so you can check out that at the end. <laughs> Hey, it's Adon here, adoncoin.com, where I teach you how to play in dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click the subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So this barn dance is in the key of G, so we have the capo on the fifth fret in dadgad, and we're going to start with the rhythm. So barn dances are in 4-4 four, four time, so we can do a simple boom chuck, so it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. So we practice that just on this D modal chord. We're going to go for the boom, which is the low bass note. Boom, and then chuck is just going to be a crisp strum, muted strum. So boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. So we're just dropping our fingers there to mute those strings. Boom, two, three, four, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. And I'll show you the rest of the chords to get that, that little phrase there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. We'll get to that in a minute, but I want to show you the second option for strumming now. So the way I like to accompany barn dances is a little different. I do an, a dragged upstroke on the first beat. So I go one, two, three, four, drag, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And at the end of each phrase, I just do all downstrokes. One, back to the drag two three four drag two three four drag two three four one two three four so another way of counting that would be if we were talking about the boom chuck it would be drag chuck boom chuck drag chuck boom chuck drag chuck boom chuck drag chuck boom chuck So let's just practice that on this D modal chord again. So we're going to go drag, chuck, boom, chuck, drag, chuck, boom, chuck, drag, chuck, boom, chuck, drag, chuck, boom, chuck, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool, let's move on to the chords now. So there's really only five chord shapes that I'd use in the first part of this tune. So we'll go over them now. We have this D major shape to start off. And it's a D major shape. It's a G chord because we're on the fifth fret in the key of G. But I'm going to refer to everything as if there's no capo. So we have this D major shape. Then I'm going to fall down into this D with an F sharp in the bass. Then we have a G shape. We're three finger G shape with that open middle D string and then down to this two finger E minor and really the last card in this sequence goes up to this there's two options up to the A dominant 7 in the low position or if you want that high note you can add in your little finger right up here on that high A string and then back to your D modal or D so when you add in the boom chuck you'd be changing really on the one and the three so you'd go boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck one two three four one two three four now you have to listen to the tune and kind of get an idea of how 
how it sounds and how it flows. That's why I played it first. So have a listen to tune, get it in your, your ear, get it in your head, and then these cards, play around with them. And the idea of Irish music, it is, it's a, it's an oral tradition. So you want to really get your ear working and try and see where these cards work. I could give you card charts, but I mean, you're going to find a lot of guitar players that play different, different styles, different ways. And you don't really want to copy any particular style. What you want to do is create your own style and see what works for you. So here are some options for you, and I'm going to give you more options. But first of all, that's part one. There are the cards that I would use in part one. And now we'll move on to part two. If you're enjoying things so far, please do let me know in the comments below and maybe click that like button. It helps quite a lot. Now for part two, there's really only four chords I use. So we start with this the relative minor or B minor shape. There is two ways of playing this with your just two fingers. Or you can add in your little finger, get that high note. From here, I'd go to this F sharp minor shape. It's quite a nice movable shape in Dadgad. So you're barring with your first finger here across the D and G string adding in your second and third fingers both on the low D and the high A. So you're going from this B minor and then the other two chords are ones we've played already. We have the E minor and you're sliding all the way up to the A dominant 7 back down to the D. So boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. So there are some options. There's plenty more we can add in and I will show you that just after we play it nice and slow first and we'll have a go at that. Right, so outside of the main chords I was showing you, you might have seen me do a few extra little bits here and there. And what I was doing, I was messing around with this, what I call the inside skeleton scale and the outside skeleton scale. And I have two videos for that. I'll leave it in the description or you can check it up here in the corner as well. But a really quick overview. Here are the chord shapes going from this D, E, F sharp, G, a back down and then the outside shapes and you try and follow the tune with these inside and outside skeleton sh scales um, along with the boom chuck etc so you can play around have a bit of fun with it so the other thing that you might have seen me do is maybe these octave shapes Quite a similar sound, but you can do pull-offs. So here's the octave shape. So they're just little things that you can you can use to try and um, help bring out the tune a bit more or kind of add a bit of fun to the tune. So there's the inside skeleton scales again, outside skeleton scales, and some of these octave octaves things that you can add in while doing your boom chuck or playing around with the boom chuck and these these little tricks so as a bonus i had Hall record the tune without me getting in the way so you can practice the chord shapes try and get your ear accustomed to where the tune is is flowing and maybe add in some of those runs and little tricks and get that boom chuck going as well so here it is Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this barn dance tutorial. If you did, the next tune I would suggest to check out is this waltz called Flatwater Fran. It's another tutorial I put together with Shea Coil on the button accordion. I'll talk to you on the next one. All the best.